Hi guys. Thought today I would do a um, video about just kind of showing home decor, talking about decorating. Um, I kind of wanted on this channel to just do stuff that I'm passionate about. So again, you're getting a no makeup face and that's going to happen a lot. So please forgive me, but <laughs> I'll constantly remind you that I don't wear makeup every day and I'm not going to do it just for YouTube. Because again, don't get paid to do this. This is for fun. So, um, and I did film a video like five minutes ago um, and it didn't work. So I'm doing this again <laughs> for the second time. But anyways, I one of my passions is um, decorating. And so I thought I would just give, I'm not going to show the whole house right now. But I just do snippets of um, kind of my decorating style, where I get stuff, um, some ideas for decorating. So this is the basement we had finished. Um, we put a little kitchenette in. We didn't want a stove and a, um, a sink because we just figured we wouldn't use it. So we just did a fridge. And then, um, yeah, I do, you will notice, have a lot of shelves in the house. <laughs> kind of obsessed. Um, I just think they're fun, and I think knickknacks are fun, so that may not be some of your style. But I get um, most of my stuff from Home Goods. Some of it from TJ Maxx. Some from Marshalls few from Ross. Um, I do go to Quilted Bear sometimes, which I think is a Utah store, and it's like handmade items, like local handmade items, like stuff like this. Um, but most of my stuff is from Home Goods. So um, sometimes like Michaels, Ross, Burlington, um, they're all really affordable. Anyways. Um, I'm a little bit sick, so sorry if I'm sniffing, but, uh, you'll notice I use a lot of blues. Um, I love blues. I love pink too, but I don't have any girls, so I feel like I can't, shouldn't have pink everywhere. <laughs> this is the bathroom we had finished, and I wanted it to be a Christmas all year round, because... Um, this neighbor that I grew up working for, I cleaned her house. She had a Christmas basement, and I loved it. That, the whole basement Christmassy was a little bit much for me, but I wanted a bathroom that was Christmassy. So, um, I think the shower curtain's from Amazon. Again, sorry, my filming is definitely not a pro, so forgive me. But I love this picture, if that's from Amazon. Hopefully it's actually showing it. Yes, okay. Um, but yeah. Hey! Oh, and I got this shirt from Walmart. Isn't it cute? Let me get up so you can see. I think it's so cute. It has a little pocket. It was like $8.97. Friggin' love Walmart. Anyways, we put in a closet, because this house did not have a lot of storage. So we did a built-in closet. Um, which has been awesome, honestly, because <laughs> again, like this house did not have a lot of storage, so we can put a lot in there, but more shelves. You'll see shelves everywhere. Um, this black piece we just got used. I buy a lot, uh, maybe not a lot. I buy stuff, some stuff from Facebook marketplace too. Um, and I sell a lot on Facebook marketplace. <laughs> But like that cute live your purpose picture is from Michaels. Um, that give thanks picture is from Ross, I believe. So yeah. Anywho, we'll go into, I don't know if I want to show Andrew's office. I don't know how clean it is, but here's Andrew's office. There's the boys put catnip everywhere. So I got to come clean that up. But tried to make it a little manly in here and not so girly. 
Oh, I do get a lot from Hobby Lobby too. I can't believe I forgot to mention Hobby Lobby. That cute fishing picture I just got from Hobby Lobby. Um, but yeah, this is the wall right when you come down in the basement. Blue, that blue color, <laughs> it's everywhere. There's Thomas's room. And then this is the office. I got this piece of furniture from Amazon, which I love for like our printer. And then just like I have stamps, envelopes, letters, just a bunch of random stuff in the drawers, crafting stuff, millions of cords of every kind. And then um, more shelves. And then we got this cool desk from Amazon that fit this space perfectly, which was kind of hard because it's not super big. But we did two computers because the boys, then they don't have to sit there and fight over whose computer time it is. They can both do it at the same time. Um, I guess I'll show Tom's room. This is Thomas's room. He's the oldest, so he gets the room in the basement. But yeah. Oh, I need to sneeze. I'm sick right now, so forgive me for <laughs> sniffing and sneezing. Of course, we get sick right before school starts, right? That's how it goes. Oh, and then his closet. Yes. So, it's probably all I will show today. Um... But yeah, my tips for decorating, like a lot of people um, like that I've talked to are like, oh, I'm just not good at decorating. I don't like it. It's hard. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't decide. My thing is I actually don't sit there and look at a space and go, okay, what do I want to get for that space? And then go try to find something specific. That's not how I do it. And honestly, doing it that way, I could see how that could get tedious. I just honestly go to the store and find stuff I like that speaks to me. It has to speak to me. <laughs> like, I will look at something and sometimes it's kind of weird, but it even gives me like a happy feeling. Like if I look at something and I'm like, that makes me happy looking at that, then I buy it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's how I do it. But I just have a passion for home decor, so, you know. But I I think that, honestly, that's way more fun than having to go to the store in search of, like, a particular thing, a particular color that you're looking for for a, a certain area. I personally like just going to the store and finding stuff I like and finding a place for them. Um, it's just more fun that way. And then you have stuff in your home that, that you love. I don't buy anything unless I absolutely love it. Well, yeah, <laughs> I have to love it. So that's that's my favorite way to uh, find home decor for my house. So um, that's what I suggest. And um, yeah, I think you don't even necessarily have to have like a color theme. I think that we all kind of have stuff that we like and it tends to be often certain colors and styles and it all kind of just blends together. I think people think about it too hard. Like, oh, I don't know if that's going to go in my house. Honestly, it probably will. So when you go shopping for home decor, if you like it, just buy it and you'll find a place for it and it will look great. Don't overthink it. I think that's the thing too, is people overthink stuff. I don't know if that's going to look good in my house. I don't know if that will match my other stuff. Who cares? It probably will. Because again, we all have certain things we like and it kind of tends to be the same color theme and the same um, same style. So not as each other. I mean like, <laughs> you know, like I tend to like wood and color. And so the stuff that I buy ends up being like wood frames with blues and a little bit of yellows and, and stuff like that. And then it ends up all kind of going together. So those are my two tips for today. Again, I'm not a pro. I just really enjoy decorating and it's fun. Oh, I just got this shelf, I'll show you, at Hobby Lobby. Look how cute, that thing was a beast to hang. Oh my gosh. 
what I need help with is how to hang stuff because that was hard. Um, but yeah, again, sorry, I'm sick right now, but, um, yeah, I think decorating is, is fun and it should be fun. It shouldn't be <laughs> a chore. You know what I mean? So make it fun. Go to the store and find stuff that speaks to you and that you like, and then find a place in your home for it. And I think you'll find that your house will end up being cuter than you think. So those are my tips for today. I don't know about you guys, but we're starting school on Thursday in a few more days and I'm kind of dreading it. <laughs> I'm just sad that summer's ending. I'm like, how is summer ending already? It's just sad, but anyways, I'm gonna get off this video because I don't wanna sniff more and you guys don't wanna hear it. So short video for today, but I will probably post one tomorrow. I'm trying to do them as often as I can, so bye.